Did someone say alternate path? Sure, let's go and take a look. Hey there, everyone, this is Alcal playing ASMT for the second time ever. Yeah, so I mentioned the second path. There we go. We're gonna start it now. You go in this pipe. And there's the Charlie Moose. Uh oh, uh. I almost regretted doing a normal jump there. I should have spam jump, but I didn't, yo. So yeah, so last time, you know, I took the path where you take a hamburger and you become swollen and full of rust. But there's an alternate pathway where you go inside this... Honestly, this seems a lot more involved in a way. There's a lot of bops and there's these guys and like, whoa. Doing that video game, and there we go, it's all the same. And now we join back where it is to blame. So there you go, that's what I miss. Hey there, everyone, this is how Cowling is on the Castle 3. I believe that this is like Chocolate Castle. One of the prime reasons why the game needed to be remade is that the boss breaks on like a lot of emulators, it's gonna happen. So, Chocolate Castle just Basically, this level exists because of its tile set. And I always felt it is just such a successful tile set. It's so, like, it feels chocolate. Like, I am right now in chocolate world. Wouldn't touch it, but I'm standing all over the chocolate. Where are you going to do value? You mean the other chocolate? Got Sometimes it's drippy, and sometimes it's barry, and sometimes it's just a uh, there's a secret area up here if you go in a pipe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this piece of music existed on Smooth Central before the level, but that's fine. Charlie, you hit me from the side. Yeah, it's that song. What a prophetic piece of music. If that's a twin, but check it out. I got some money. Whoa, there, guy. What are you doing all over there? Check it out, he can hop. All that to protect the coiny guy. Yes. Alright, if I do that, I can let Charlie yeah, run off screen and die forever. And also he can get- Whoa! Is there ice physics? That certainly felt ice physics -y. Like, I just kept going there, but okay. No, there's no ice physics per se. I don't know. So it's a loop, like, it's kind of funny. You go there for the gag, because there's a one-up there, I guess, and you're like, you plop back here, and like, whoa, I'm plop back here. Plop, Master Joe, FM stereo cars. No, if you want a stereo, but you don't want to steal it yourself, it's stereo cars. All right, check it out. You do that, and you do a little bim-bom-bim, bim, and then you're like, hmm. And then you're like, hmm. That is the feeling to get. Look at that beautiful looking chocolate bar though. Like, I don't want you to be an enemy. I want us to be friends. Charlie, stop that. You're, you're making a mess. Whoa, geez, yeah, okay. A cookie to the face is better than falling in, you know, molten lava. Like, even if the molten lava is actually molten chocolate, it still hurts to touch. It might not be... But I guess if it's sufficiently warm enough, it is going to be just as deadly. Oh, this is the path you take for the coin, old man. Gotta take these detours to get a fifth of a life, assuming things go well. <coughs> Sorry. Feels like I got something in the back of my throat. Must be all this chocolate. Alright, check it out. Get big before you bop these locks so you can get the better power up. That's right, now I can participate in the melting of all the chocolate. Yeah, that pipe is how you return back to the world of living. If you die, whoosh, check out these jumps. Check out that chocolate. Yeah, that's right, it's there still. Hasn't moved yet. What are we going to do about it, my friend? Get dunked, that's right. Dunkaroo, dunk a chocolate. Oh, you can't believe I thought of that sentence. All right, word fragment. Here we go, bim bam spoof bashquow. All the favorite ones. Yeah, I'm not sure I understand the sprite displacement of the turbo nuclear engine, though. Like, <coughs> this, the spike ball? Like, is it supposed to be anything other than a weird half a kiwi? This is such a weird shape. And, like, with a middle in the middle, it's like, check it out on the middle. Like, I don't know, like, it looks neat. I just don't understand it. Uh, you don't need to understand something to find it beautiful. 
Alright, uh, I don't know where I am. So I guess I'm going to be blandly following coins. Blandly? That is not the correct adjective here. Adverb. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. It's a cookie! Look at that, it crumbled! It's a co it's a cosmic yeah, it's a cosmic sprite. Custom sprite. From space itself. I am playing it super careful. I feel like on most days I would have like just went to the cornfield and just ate the ram. Whoops. Yeah, that that whatever I said. But no, I took it like as slow as possible. Ah, there's a feather. My name is Feather, and I'm here to observe your dreams. Uh, oh, that's pretty rude. You're not allowed to go and look inside without my permission. You can't just declare you're gonna observe my dream. This is a very, very private moment that I don't even control. Like, dude. And you just kind of announce it and, like, you're proud of it? Oh, well, okay. I know where all the Dagadons are. I'm not gonna get all of them, though. Because I missed out on one. The passport here. You bring the springboard. You hop around and you do some sounds with your mouth. If you want... Is something up here? Yeah, it's called a coin. Oh, my time is getting real low. Okay, you know what? Enough kidding around. I gotta fight this boss. I hope a hundred time use it is enough. So yeah, so he wouldn't throw these projectiles. You got big cook... Big cookie with a small fur butt in it. There we go. So, I mean, I think you understand what this boss is about now. <coughs> it's significantly easier with a kick. Wasn't there a thing- ah, shoot, where like, sometimes they would bounce? And that would be a contributor to society's ill? Well, uh, here I just keep messing up. This is a lot easier with a cape. Tip! Try to get here with a cape. I don't know. Try to get here with some flex tape. Ah, oh, damn, I missed. I don't know how. Alright, there you go. When you hit him, this cloud becomes displeased. Because it's the cloud, really, that gets the burnt of the pain. Hey, he's dead! I had enough time, but not by that much! This went by a lot better than I thought it would. I thought this would have been a lot more of a- I mean, I'm not complaining, naturally, but I remember this, like, also, like, you know, if you die to a boss, like, you gotta redo how the level is. The level ain't short. Whoa, did you see that little shape move there? Like, fall down? What was that? It was like a little bird. Just kind of fell. Well, pause there, you go for music load. What is the true nature of this conflict? What other a whole you holy horrors await? I don't know. I don't know how to describe you holy. Like that's just not my vocabulary. Play on, gentle gamer. Find out. All right, we're done with the sky. No more clouds. Get out of here, clouds. You'd think there'd be room underneath here, but there isn't. Just a little pause here because I need to cough a lung out. Don't mind me. If I forgot to edit this out, like, I genuinely apologize. Like, this is, these are not sounds that humans were meant to hear. It's World 4! We got the World 4 music! Look at that peaceful little island with the orange trees. Well, there's orange trees everywhere. World 4! Pretty big! It's the Rad Volcano! Pretty rad! The bridge is out, so we have to go here. It's a booster dump site! Now, there is... A level. <laughs> no kidding! Uh, this is a highlight of this game. So you go on these and you fly off if you hold a button. Like, if you just don't hold a button, you just do that. If you hold jump, though, you do that. There you go. The world was explained. By the way, you're not the only one involved. There you go. See, time that real nice. So we see that guy get a little bit of a 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 bit Putting my life in danger for no reason. That is what we do. Hey there, little guy. Here's a big bean coin. You gotta be kind of like central on that platform, though. Otherwise, you're not gonna get anything. Nothing for you. Oh, these guys got beards. Crazy. That guy's got bop. Whoa, unbelievable. I'm gonna hurry here now. Yeah, that's right. Whoosh. We got ourselves a little bean dipped in a little bit of heaven. Well, I don't want that meat. I don't, don't replace my good cape, please. I need it to be used as a dinner cloth at the table, alright? That's Charlie! He has a blue ha arm, not harm. Why do I want to put an H there? 
In stereo. Whoa, look at that mighty hop right at the whoop. Jeez, uh, I'm not sure how I didn't get hurt there. So let's go get something I never got in my initial playthrough of this game. There's a little room here called The Little Room. Well, I've seen it in like other LPs, but yeah, it's the sweet little remote control! It's a permanent power-up, I think. Uh, and yeah, I can boost self and I can boost others by pressing the button. Whoop, but if you just hammer on the button like a madman, you're gonna trigger the actual function of the R2, so you gotta be careful, okay? So you hold L, the oh, okay, so really you just do, you bop it, then you drop it, and then here's a little, like, horseshoe puzzle. It's a puzzle for horseshoes. If you're not a horseshoe, you're not allowed to participate in this puzzle. I'm sorry, I didn't make the rules. Ah, I messed it up! No, no, and now I'm dead forever. That's not true, I can probably knock it up there. Maybe one day. Once the sun meets the moon, like a big caribou. That's l'amore. Alright. No, shoot. Um, this is a little bit harder than it looks like. Maybe. I don't know how hard it looks like. Yeah, I did it! All that for a one-up! Yay! <laughs> I don't know, like, I kind of like not having control and that whoa, Dagadon respawn. But, uh, like, you cannot deny that there's something, whoa, pretty fun about this. Just, like, having control over this and just going beep beep and you're like, yeah, yeah, that's right, I just did made that happen. I did not benefit from it in any ways. Uh, but I don't know, I, I, I feel like I like the version of the level where you kind of have to deal. But it's true, oh, you're supposed to... Hey, just tells him there, by the way. Uh, but yeah, like, you're supposed to... No, I, I don't know. I like having to deal instead of just being able to ignore the gimmick here, but at the same time, I cannot deny that... It removes a certain sit-around-and-wait aspect to have control over your own destiny, right? That's true. Whoa, he hopped over me! What a fool! What a legend! What a Tom Conway experience! Here we go. Experience maladdress. Is that a real word? Probably not. Sounds like it could be a fancy word though. Isn't there like a dagger on? Oh no, there's a roof above my head here. I did not know that. Alright, hey, see, there you go, like, beep, 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 and you gotta, to, like, jump over the platform to not push out. See, like, I feel like getting the remote removes a lot of the everything. I don't want that. I don't want that beat. I am not a beat apologist. Alright, I'm gonna hold the jump button, and then I'm gonna press burp. Okay, maybe not here. Well, you know what? It's fine. Eh. Dang it! See, like, you gotta, like, carve your way forward. Wow, I did lose, like, my, all my power-ups, huh? Ugh, that's scary. Alright, eh. Do it again. You know what? That's fine. Eh. Sweet. I boosted too high, and then I died, I guess. Um, that's awkward. <laughs> Okay, so that got saved. Me getting this, see that's how that's supposed to go, got saved. So I, I guess I'll never play now forever again the uh, not like the automatic version of this level. Cause like I, I, I just forever have control now. That's just how this level works from now on. It's just so weird. Such a permanent change. Well, yes and no, because like last time I died, because I boost here and then I. That, uh, this doesn't feel great. Alright, let's not get hurt so that when I try to reach the third level, I can like tank a hit. Because here you gotta be like right in the middle. Very easy to accidentally rub on a baby Yoshi's belly, and boy howdy, does that hurt, apparently. Don't wanna do that. I mean, I think the idea is you get that up there, I don't know why you'd wanna do that, but you can. Hold the jump button to be over here, and then you realize 
that's why you want. Oh uh, boy. Okay. So. Uh, 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 so now I can run across this. And I can wait. Press a button a bit too often. That's fine. That's gonna happen. Alright, balance on one foot demo, you're a champion at that, there we go, release the hounds, bounce awkwardly, okay, get hurt, we could clearly see that man was without a neck, but we've all escaped in the end, yeah, I died a few, a few times, twice, yeah, I don't know, that weird stacky place, it's a weird place, it feels weird, whoa, look at that, the bridge leads to a pipe that leads to the next level in the area, oh, let's do that level, we're gonna do three level, revenge of switch presses, I pressed all the switches, they now have their revenge, uh, and the background is shining, I forgot if that is relevant, but yeah, the whole gimmick, the whole idea behind the level is kind of clever, is a level that would be super simple, but if you press all the switches, whoops, suddenly there's obstacles everywhere. Apparently, doesn't look like any of my graphics touched any of that graphic, but, I mean, hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna debate this with you. Oh, you can't go there, by the way. You can if you didn't press the blue switch. See, do you understand what is going now? We got happy skulls floating around. That I believe is a what the hell origin. Oh shoot! I was not paying attention very well. Good. Do you need this key? Like, there's no secret exit. I remember that. But I think you can use the key to like thwack green blocks or something somewhere, which makes it a good thing to bring around. Like, even if you can't use the the feather part. What am I talking about? The... I don't know. Like, it stops you from doing some movement easily, like... Spin jumping and whatnot. I see... I could hit that block, but that just seems like kind of a pain. Alright, never mind. Uh, that's scary. Whoa, I never really thought about that little mo Oh, jeez. Uh, let's hurry up. Yeah, see, if I had brought the key with me, I could have swapped these blocks. But I didn't, and so now I'm here. I don't know exactly where here is now, but I guess I'm at this point. I got enough points for a one-up. Yo, check it out. Lock is in the way. You would still have awkward divine jumps to do. Now here we bop this bop, and then we just kind of have to wait here. This is one of the stranger decisions. Like, if there's a P-switch, and then, all right, well, did it, I guess. Congratulations! Thank you. Alright, big jump. Far jump. Uh, wow, far jump. We gotta keep your momentum going. Except you don't need to, they're just far enough to be scary. I miss time completely. And then a level goes flashing. It's normal, though. I, 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 that, that, they paid attention. We haven't hit the yellow switch palace yet, but there's were no yellow switch representation here. Yellow switch has all got reasons to have revenge, alright, and we're gonna wait here. I remember chill out being a thing. We'll see how much of a thing or nothing it is now in the modern era of Super Mario World ROM hacking. Back then though, like, especially, like, the secret exit was a thing, well, I don't know, we'll see you next time. Video games, video Games exist only sometimes, but don't ask when. That's that's where the song stops. Then the tune continues. It's just pure chaos going on here.